Okay, so right now we're in the Google Certified Educator Level 2 um, building syllabus, building a syllabus uh, example. Um, so one of the first things they want you to do is um, create a table of contents. And if you scroll down here, I have like a, like a sample syllabus. And uh, take a look right here, you have a table of contents. So let's say you want to insert a table of contents here. The most important thing is to have the, the right headings, uh, to have the right formatting for the parts of the table of contents. So so take a look here. Like if you see meeting info, you take a look, this is heading one. So the headings are going to pop up in the table of contents. Go down as well, course knowledge, heading one. This is just normal text, okay? See procedure? That's heading, that'll that'll show up. This is no so the normal text ain't gonna show up. It has to be formatted to the right uh, to the to the right heading. And I'll show you how, I'll show you how to do that. So you have to have the right formatting. So here's table of contents and take a look at class expectations. This just says normal text, so it's not gonna pop up. So here I'm gonna go to insert. So I'm gonna insert a table of contents, insert, table of contents, and let's just do this one with blue links. Okay, you could do two different ones. Do blue links. Okay. So see what we have here. We have meeting info, course knowledge, procedure. Scroll down. Meeting info, course knowledge, procedure, resources. So all these things are, are right here in our table of contents. Okay. So what the table of contents does is if you click on it, it'll take you right to that section. Right. So boom, takes me right there. Take a look. Prior knowledge. Boom, takes me right there. However, notice class expectations aren't a part of the table of contents. That's because it hasn't been formatted. So if you want to format this and add it to the cable of, table of contents, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to Format, Paragraph Styles, and then you can do Heading 1, okay? Apply Heading 1. And take a look now, you see Heading 1. Or, I mean, you can just go here too and, and, and do it the same way. Okay, Apply Heading 1. So now, Let's redo this. Get rid of this table of contents now. It's the old one. And now we're going to insert table of contents. Let's go to insert table of contents, blue link. And now look, class expectations is, is there because it, it's under heading. Okay? So that was the first thing. So here we are. Now let's say you want to insert a table to just sort of add some flair and make this thing look a little nice. You're going to go to insert table let's say you want a table like this there you go and you can stretch this thing and here's a nice table um here's where you can have some text all right you can have your text here okay and then maybe here so here you've added some text on one side and then on another side maybe you want to have um I don't know, chapter one syllabus. You could also just do something like this, insert table. This is just like sort of a one piece. Pull this down. So now you're gonna highlight this. You go to format. You can go to table. Down to table properties. And here you can add some color to it, maybe make it a light blue. Okay. Way well, you could use the table, and um, this brings us to another task we have for this uh, section to insert an image. So I'm going to insert an image in this table. So I'm going to go to Insert Image, and you can grab an image from your camera, your URL, Photos, Drive. Let's say you want to do one from the computer. I'll go to Branding. Let's go with um, let's go with this one here. And you can scroll this thing a little down. And then you have a little picture of yourself. You can move this thing to the side by pressing break text. Pull this thing to the side here. And then up here, if you go to wrap text, up here you can go make it a little bit Let's make it a little bit darker and black. There you go. It's one way to li liven up uh, to liven up your syllabus. 
So here we are in our syllabus, and let's say now you want to alert your collaborators. You can go to File, and remember, it has to already be shared with the person that you want to alert. So you go to Share, and you see here it's been shared. It's already been shared with some people. So you go to File. Now let's say you want to alert your collaborators. You go to Email Collaborators. Okay, so you let them know the subject, and then you can click off the, the box of the person you want to know, and let you go, um, hey, I changed the person, and then sent. And then I just alerted them that I've done some sort of change to, to the syllabus. Now let's say you want to tag and notify someone. So uh, let's say you want to let them know that you've updated the table of contents or you've added a section to the table of contents. What you're going to do is highlight that section. You'll see this little plus sign right here. It says add a comment. And then you begin by pressing a plus first. You have to get this plus done, right? Plus, and then you're going to enter the person's email address. And um, you can add a comment in it. Or what do you think of the table of contents? And then just press comment. And there you have it, right? You see this thing is highlighted. And here, here's the person it was sent to. And it says, what do you think of the table of contents? Um, now let's say you want to insert a mathematical equation. I have a little section right here. Prior knowledge and math equations. So let's say you're talking about math and you're talking about the... Uh, I don't know, you're talking about uh, one of the chapters and you have to add an equation that's relevant to that chapter. You're going to go to insert and then there's a special section right here for equations. You're going to go to equations and then you can choose all different ones. So this looks like the most common one where it says math operations. So here you can pick, uh, let's say you want to pick something like this with a fraction bar. You can go three and then click on the thing down there, thirds, and it looks like four thirds, and you could always make it bigger. Let's make it like, like this. There you go. For an equation. Let's insert. So you can add again. Again, insert equation. Maybe you want to use the square root this time. Square root, you could put five, uh, square root of 200, whatever. Okay, so here's how you can add uh, math equations. And now the the last one is to um, adjust and to uh, adjust and crop uh, images. So if you go down here, here's an image I have. Okay, it's uh, it's uh, right in the middle of the table. And um, let's say I want to crop that image. Okay, I'm going to go right up here to crop image. There you have it a little bit. Let's pull this thing up a little bit. There you go. So this image has been cropped a little bit. And you can also, um, there's a lot of things you can do here if you go to image options. So let's go to image options. You can actually recall the image. Okay, take a look. Invert it, all different stuff. You can go back to no recolor. You can adjust the transparency, brightness, all different stuff.